Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to show you how to mount and bore sight a scope on your muzzle-loading rifle. Here in front of me I have a Traditions Nitride LDR muzzleloader, break action, and we're going to mount this 3.5 to 10 by 44 Traditions scope using our one-piece base and aluminum rings. To begin, simply take an Allen wrench and mount your base to the top of your screws. When you buy your rifle, you may have some filler screws in there. Just remove those with a flathead screwdriver. And secure your base down, finger tight. If you're hunting in high elevations on any of these threaded screws, feel free to use a blue low uh, threshold Loctite or clear nail polish as a thread filler. When you get up into high elevations with low air pressure, what tends to happen is the aluminum and steel interact in weird ways and that screw can actually start to back out. So it's okay to use a thread filler in low air pressure environments. Second step, we're just going to take the lower half of the ring and on this scope I'm going to mount it on the front and rear notches of the base just to widen our surface area a little bit. Once you have your lower half of your ring secured just tighten them down the rest of the way with a flathead screwdriver. Again, you can use a thread fill filler here. Uh, you don't need to overbear on these. Just get them good and tight where they won't back off on you. Once we're at this point, we're going to check and make sure the gun's level. Now, obviously, on a break action, you have a lot of round surfaces, so it's really hard to level off a gun. The best rule of thumb for checking to see if a break action is level is to level off the base itself because it's a good flat surface. So we're going to take our bubble level and mount it across right here and just double check that our gun is level in the vise before mounting our scope. Once we're good and level, you can tighten the vise down. And next, just lift your scope and gently set it down in the lower half of your rings. From this point, if you want to double check, I have a second bubble level here. These are available at sporting goods stores. You can come underneath your scope back on the base and check to make sure your base hasn't moved. We're also going to use the bubble level on the top elevation turret, the dust cover here, because it's a good flat surface, and level our scope tube off. Lastly, we're going to secure the scope down with the top straps. For these top straps, simply take a three millimeter Allen wrench or if you have a torque wrench at home, just use a three millimeter Allen head. And I'm going to use the torque wrench. We have this set for about 17 inch pounds. You can fluctuate between 16 and 20 inch pounds depending on where you're hunting, what environment you're going to be in, and whether or not you're using thread fillers. And just secure down your four screws. And a good rule of thumb is to check between your top and bottom straps Make sure these are evenly spaced on all four holes so that when you go down with the torque wrench on even torque, you also have even spacing, even pressure on your scope tube. And before I fully secure all four screws down, I'm going to double check the top turret to make sure the scope hasn't moved. If it has moved, like right here, I'm going to just readjust that to be level. Once I have it adjusted at level, my first screw, I'm going to take it down to where it's finger tight. And what I like to do is an X. I'll go from this screw, caddy corner to this screw. And that gives an even counter pressure across the board. Bring that down finger tight. Come over to this screw finger tight, and your final screw caddy cornered. Once you have your rifle evenly mounted in, leveled off with the scope in relation to the base, you can take your rifle, and with this vise it's really lightweight, you can shoulder your gun and check your eye relief. If you need to move your scope forward or backwards in relation to your eye to get a good sight picture, go ahead and do that, and just re-level your scope to the base. If your eye relief's good, Everything's level. We've got our screws down finger tight. Go ahead and torque your screw down to the desired torque spec. Once 
Once your scope is leveled, secured down to your torque spec, eye relief set, you can remove your gun from the vise and head to the range and go bore sight your gun.